Hello all, here we are again, it is brew day, which is always a good day. So, the Bible, the uh, golden source of all brewing knowledge, for me at least. Uh, we're doing the American Stout today. Um, pale malt, Munich malt, black malt, crystal malt, uh, Chinook and Amarillo. Um, changed the amount of hops slightly to adjust for alpha acids. Uh, for what was available, but yeah, absolutely spot on otherwise. Uh, using Quebec, Quebec, Quebec yeast today um, for the first time actually. So, this is Quebec Voss, so Lalamand. I've had a few Lalamand yeasts recently, they've been spot on. Uh, so, I've no doubt this will be you know equally as good, if not better. Um, so, as I understand it, fast fermenting, clean fermenting. Um, I'm away for the next few nights, or four nights, so by the time I get back it should be done and dusted, if uh, what I've heard is true. So, uh, yeah, let's dive straight in and to some brew day footage, and uh, we'll see how it goes. See you in a bit. Two, uh, about four litres there, you can tell the ground water's getting cold already, you can see the... Uh, Condensation on it, so it should help uh, during the cooling process. We're nearly up to temp, so from about 17 degrees Celsius, so it's taken less than 10 minutes, and you can see it's clocking up pretty quick. So we'll get mashed in. So in we go with the first bit of uh, malt. So I've got a little bit of extra time today, so I'm going to grash in, uh, mash in a little bit more gradually in the hope to increase some efficiencies. So let's see how we get on. Okay. And stir. Make sure we're not going to go balls. Right, so I've got quite a bit of grain. So um, I'll get on with it and I'll see you in a bit. So we're still going, going great guns. It's uh, probably doing about, you know, between kind of 500 and a kil 500 grams and a kilogram per time. Give it a quick stir. I'm also going to put in a few, uh, a few rice holes as well, just for good measure. Probably don't need to really, but uh, you know, better safe than sorry. Still mashing them, going going well. Uh, all this extra mashing, and I've got a bit of a sweat on, to be honest. Um, okay, so another lost five kilograms going in. So this is just a mixture, pre-weighed and uh, pre-mixed, which is nice and convenient by the malt miller. Um, so we've got some black malt, some crystal, and some pale. So we'll get this in, and uh, yeah, and we'll get recirculating around the malt pipe and uh, have the mash rest for 15 minutes. All right, so there we are, all nice and steadily mashed in. We've got a lovely thick kind of soupy mash so we started with about 40 litres of water so I would say that is about spot on right turn the uh, heating elements to mash mode and uh, off we go right we're near the end of the mash so uh, I'm gonna as always get up onto the countertop and lift this uh, <laughs> lift this malt pipe so we'll wait for the um yeah I'll, I'll turn the pump off wait for the water level well, the wart levels uh, to equalize and then we'll get deadlifting all right we're spurging away um we're gonna head up to around 53 liters or so so there you go So practically at the boil, um, still says 99.4, but that's at 100% power. So we're going to change that down to 40, get the steam hat on. But for now, boil hop additions, 60 grams of Chinook going in. And as always, just remember, you know, this is a double batch. So we're aiming for about two 22, 23 litre batches. Okay, let's give that a little stir. And get the steam hat on. Forty percent. See how we get on with that. And the steam condenser is all set up, and the water is on. So uh, fairly simple, fairly simple uh, hot bill for this one. Uh, so yeah, sixty grams of chinook just gone in. Uh, then we've got a ten-minute addition 
of Amarillo and then yeah flame out edition of Amarillo as well so we'll be back then 75 minute boil 10 minute hop edition going in Chinook and um, that's 16 grams along with two protoflock We're nearly finished now, aren't we? So, well done. Okay, so, we're pumping around the uh, counterflow chiller just to give it sterilised for 10 15 minutes. And yeah, I mean, if you're familiar with the brew tool system, then you'll know. But if not, then you can kind of, you might be wondering why there's such a dramatic temperature drop. Uh, and that's because once you kind of put the pump on, uh, depending on what threshold you set in the settings, and I forget what mine is exactly, uh, but you'll see it'll change from tank to pump. Uh, just so you know. So the final hop edition, I think I said it was 16 grams of Chinook before, but it wasn't, it was 16 grams of Amarillo, and, and the rest of the bag's going in now, so that's 84 grams of Amarillo for the Flame Out hop edition. So let's go ahead and do that. Lovely stuff. So we'll get the power off. We'll get this deconstructed uh, while we, yeah, hopefully dial in our, our whirlpool with the adjustable dip tube this time. So let's see how that goes. We are cooling. So you can probably see the steam coming out of the sink there. Going through the counter flow. And you can just see how quickly that temperature is coming down. I mean, the groundwater is probably fairly cold, like I mentioned before at the beginning, but you know, that is, uh, that is pretty rapid. So anyway, let's get that changed to the return temp. And you can see already the return temperature of the warts down to kind of 50 degrees Celsius. So uh, yeah, we'll be pitching in no time, 15 minutes or so. Well, folks, brew day's over. Um, it was a pretty, pretty good brew day. No real major problems. A little bit of a stuck mash. Um, but I just kind of got in there with a paddle, agitated it a little bit, let it rest, and then it started flowing, so no problems. So even though, yeah, I use I use rice holes, but the uh, the the grain crush was it was too fine, really. Um, I know this <laughs> already, so I just need to bite the bullet and pay for my own uh, grain mill and do my own crush. But until then, I'll just have to manage. Um, yeah, so it's in the fermenter. It's been in the it's been in the fermenter now for a few hours. Um, I'm expecting by the by this evening, um, in another few hours time, it'll be bubbling away. So fingers crossed. Um, using Kvike, Kvike. Need to check how that's pronounced. Really, I think everyone everyone says the wrong thing, right? Um, yeah, so I'm I'm using that because. I'm kind of away for the next few days so I'm hoping by the time I get back that's going to be done and dusted so this American Stout apparently has a conditioning time of around seven weeks so I want a winter beer uh, to kind of enjoy uh, so I might as well get, get a head start and uh, get the uh, yeah the fermentation kind of out of the way so that it can start conditioning but there you go there you yeah go. I'm not going to do this as a grain to glass I don't think uh, just because of that kind of elongated um, conditioning time so I will have it, I'm sure, on one of my videos at some point, <laughs> and I'll let you know how it is. Uh, I should mention that in terms of gravity, one or five, six, maybe seven, um, expected one or six o, oh, so not a million miles away. Um, especially considering I was pretty much bang on, um, yeah, kind of forty five, forty six liters. So can't complain at that. It's quite a strong beer, anyway. So six point two. So. Even if a rock could put 5.96, then you're splitting hers, aren't you? So, so there you go. Um, yeah, there we go. So we're almost at 500 subs, guys. So thank you, everyone, for your support. Thank you for all the kind of positive uh, comments from everyone, the nice messages. You know, really, really do appreciate it. So, you know, if you do like, uh, you know, watching the videos, you find them helpful, then please do consider supporting the channel and uh, we'll see what we can do, guys. Um, very much appreciate it. Like I said, take care and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.